Hey! Oh my gosh, my voice just cracked. No, 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 no. <laughs> Whoa. Hey! Over the years, I have tested tons of different craft kits. Today, I'm going to be trying this. It is the Create Your Own Resin Wall Decor Kit Craft Kit by Mundo Llama. Brrr. I don't know why the llama purred. I ordered this kit from Target quite a few months ago and it's just been sitting around. Today is the day. Actually, tonight is the night. It is 12.18 p.m. So if I'm acting extra loopy and delirious, that is why. I am making it my mission to get ahead on videos this year or at least caught up so I can post more for you and you and you. <laughs> We're not about to bust into the sound of music, I promise. <laughs> Recently, I tried textured paintings and I made a giant tidal wave. It's not really that giant. Anyway, it reminded me of this that I had sitting around, as I mentioned, and I thought it would be a fun video to finally share. So without further ado, let's unbox it and create a resin wave wall decor piece of art. I hope it's cute. Make it bright, make it bold, make it up, and most of all, make it you. Find your creativity in the making with Mundo Llama. <laughs> Note, resin may stain clothes or furniture. I believe that should read and furniture. Resin stains clothes and furniture and many other things. <laughs> Thank you. nice. I imagine the pieces were gonna scatter everywhere, but no, look, they're right here in this bundle, taped together. Oh, it is stuck stuck. Catch! craving some ketchup and french fries. Maybe some barbecue sauce and chicken fingers or the best raising canes sauce. Mm. Let's see what this kit contains. What supplies are inside? Well, we have four craft sticks, AKA popsicle sticks of the wooden variety. What's a scary rhyme? One, two, ready, come for you. Three, four, back, lock the door. I shouldn't say that before bed. Three mixing cups. Ooh, three packets of mica powder. There is this white pearly one, a navy royal blue, and a really pretty emerald green. Those are pretty. I like them. Shimmer, shimmer, shimmer. And apparently there is one gram of each color, so three grams total. One pair of gloves. A mixing spatula. This is a mini spatula. When you say spatula, I'm like, Who's making eggs, you know? Tiny scrambled eggs in a tiny pan. Two bottles of liquid resin. There is part A and part B. 1.92 fluid ounces or 56 milliliters of each. Cool. Then we have a drop cloth to keep our surface clean. There is a little disclaimer on here that says before pouring, use a covering on the work area to protect it. One, two, Freddy's coming for you. One plastic measuring cup that goes up to 150 mLs. This instruction sheet. And of course, last but not least, it's actually the least least, it's the most. <laughs> we have a Z round wooden board, as they call it. I just call it the circular wavy. Wavy's in circle. I'd say it's pretty sturdy. It's kind of thin, but there's no danger of it breaking unless you're really, really trying and you shouldn't be doing that. Why would you get this kit if you're gonna try to break it? I feel like it's a nice quality. And also I wasn't expecting it to have hardware on the back, look. So you can actually hang it up without putting the stuff on it yourself. They did it, yay. That is everything. I think this is a great place for a pause. I will be back. Ready? I'm back. 
Hello. Let's get into the project, shall we? Step one, before you begin, lay the provided drop cloth over a flat surface. Wear an apron. Okay, we're not wearing an apron, sorry. And put on the protective gloves. There we go. Bar top protection. And I also have this poster board because it's easier to see on this when I film. Now, ta-da. I went to Harbor Freight a few days ago and picked up this monster. Even though this kit doesn't say to wear a mask, I think that I want to do it just because safety. I don't think I've ever even held one of these before, so let's see. Oh, <laughs> That was not the full. We have one more side. Oh, it did the same thing. Oh my gosh. This is awesome. It looks like a cup. Really though. So step two, after the work surface is prepped, which I've already done that, is to open the resin bottle part A by twisting the cap counterclockwise and then empty it into the measure cup. All right, so I can bring this stuff over here and then step three is open the resin bottle part B and empty it into the measuring cup. Vigorously stir the resin together with the craft stick. We're gonna get right into this once I get all masked up and everything, whoa. I know this is probably going to mess with my makeup, but I already filmed a video prior to this and that's why I have all this. Whatever it does, it does. <laughs> okay, here we go. <laughs> wow. We styling over here. Am I supposed to wear goggles? <laughs> wow. Perfect. Step three, vigorously stir. I'm gonna pour it into these three containers, about 30 milliliters in each. Now I need to cut the mica powders open. Oh my gosh, I'm getting it all over. That's pretty. So pretty. Step six, vigorously stir until evenly combined. Let them sit about five minutes before pouring them on the canvas. Uh-oh. We're gonna come back in just a minute. Now for the moment of truth, the pour. My hands are so sweaty, ew. Start with blue, then teal, then clear, then silvery pearly white. Here goes nothing. I'm kinda nervous. I'm like shaking. That's pretty. Let's make sure it gets where it needs to be. I feel like there might not be enough blue though. Should I make more? I kinda want more. Put some more clear. Oh my gosh, how did my hair get back out? We don't want my hair out. Oh geez, that was a big pop. Ah! Oh, it's so great. So pretty. So pretty. Oh no, 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 no. I 
bit of my glove in it. All the colors are in, I'm just going to rock it around a little bit more, then it's going to just sit here and dry overnight. Whoa, that's so cool. Wow, let's see what kind of mask print I ended up with on my face. Wow, yikes, that's a big indent, oh my gosh. <laughs> Gosh, it turned out so pretty. It's really shiny. Thankfully, it cured really well. No stickiness. That's the biggest fear that I have when I work with resin is that I'm not going to mix it properly and then it's not gonna cure and it's just gonna be sticky forever. But this is great. Overall, I think this is a pretty good kit. I would recommend it if you're interested in trying a beginner level resin kit. The only thing I didn't utilize is this little mini spatula. Who's making eggs, you know? but everything else was great. I still have quite a bit of mica powder left that I can use for other crafts. And I think the only little blip with this is that there's this weird circle right here and I can't figure out why that happened, if there maybe was a little dip in the wood. It's not super visible, but... Also, I do wanna paint the frame of this, I think. The plain wood doesn't look bad, but I think it could look really nice silver or maybe a dark brown stain. Let me know in the comment section below what your opinion is, what color you would paint it if you had it or if you would just leave it as it is. Pretty please. <laughs> they probably should have given a silicone measuring cup. I can't reuse this one now that it is hardened in here. Resin popsicles, anyone? <laughs> it's like a blizzard from DQ. Everything is going in the trash. If you haven't watched that video yet, I will link it in the description box below and the iCard up above. I hope you enjoyed and thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video and I hope you have a great rest of the day. Bye. Whoa, that was so lame.